Hey there, everybody. Welcome back in. Ooh, what's this? What's that book in the case? <laughs> Cosima Wagner's journal. It's locked up for preservation. Huh. Can I see it? I don't have anything to ask Georg about at the moment. June 10th, 1880, we must speak. July, it be full of... I guess I'm done here. Nope, I'm not somehow. God damn it. What could I have possibly missed? Wagner souvenirs. Don't think I need any of those. Guess not. I don't have anything. God damn it. What am I missing? I clicked on fucking everything. I hate this bullshit. Clicked on that. Yep. Wagner. Wagner. Can't click on anything else here. This must be a model of Wagner. Opera cost. Opera cost. These look like production designs. I don't see any. These look like pro I don't. Ludwig, the great. She's allowed to drive in Germany. She go and get her like international driver's license or something before she left. Hi, did you have a good time? Uh huh. Anything new? Yes, you had a phone call. Really? A man named Professor Barclay. He said you had his number. I do. Thanks. Oh, they're so nice to each other now. They're gonna have crazy lesbian sex. Telephone time. Let's get his card. There it is. Let's go. Tell me what you know, sucker. Hello. Hi, Hi Professor Grace. Barkley. It's Grace. Oh, good. Uh, I have a name for you. It's Herr Josef Dahlmeier, and uh, he specializes in Bavarian history, and uh, I think he's somewhere near where you are. Herr Josef Dahlmeier. Great. Got a number? Yeah, I do. It's uh, 4982 This guy's a terrible actor. 555 <laughs> 
Thanks a lot. Sorry about the bother. Uh, that's no bother. Um, when are you coming back to school, uh, Gracie? That's no bother. When I figure it out, I'll let you know. Well, be good. She doesn't need to go to school. She's off learning about shit. In the real world. Like werewolves and voodoo cults. You ain't got time for that book learning. Gerda? Yes? I just wanted to look at you. Have you heard from Gabriel at all? No, Grace, I'm sorry. Never mind. Well, let's go see that dude, I guess. Right? that I got his number. <laughs> that was dumb. I need to pay more attention. You must be Grace Nakamura, the American history student. Yes. I hear you're interested in Ludwig II. Very. Good. There's something I want to show you. Drive to Berg on Steinberger Sea. Meet me at the Memorial Chapel. All right. Thank you. Oh, wait. Uh, was there anything you wanted me to look into before we meet? Well, I was hoping you knew something about someone called the Black Wolf. He was a contemporary of Ludwig's. He lived in Prussia, I think, and he was well connected. Uh, never heard of him, but I'll check. See you there. Thanks. Bye. All right. Now we could go. Should probably check around in town first. Just uh, make sure everything's gone. I don't have anything to add. My score, 326 at a 679. Got anything cracking in the church? Those look better. Look better than what? Nothing at all, I guess? Herr Huber? Yes? Yes? Are the Smiths in their room? Yeah, I believe so. Could you ask them to come down, please? Oh, yeah, not too late. Okay. I don't know what's so natural about that. Now you just tell Merle what's going on. You just tell Merle what's going on. I had a dream last night. I didn't remember it at first, but I saw something today at one of the museums. What was the dream? I was being chased in the woods by wolves. And I saw a sleigh. Ludwig was inside. He pulled me up and 
I thought I was safe. And he made sweet love to me. But then he turned into a wolf. Hmm. So what do you think, Mother? A dream of rescue is a spiritual guide dream. The high priestess in Gabriel's cards must be linked to Ludwig somehow. What do the wolves represent? I'm a psychic, they're not Freud. <laughs> but the warning I got was about the black wolf, wasn't it? And the wolves in the dream. It must be the same danger. It's so frustrating. The more I find out, the more questions I have. Why don't you try a little communicating of your own? Ludwig's the link. Appeal to him. The answers may not come right away, but at least you'll give the guide something specific to say the next time she contacts you. Isn't there any way that you could, you know, do a psychic reading on Ludwig or something? To tell you the truth, I've been trying all day to make contact. But I only <laughs> feel great despair. Ludwig's soul is not at peace. Because he's in hell, because he was a werewolf. And he tasted of human blood. I'd better go. Anytime you need us, stop by. And be careful, huh? Thanks. For being like a staunch intellectual type, the fact that she's buying into all this psychic crap is a little weird. <laughs> Yeah, I should probably check here first. See if they got anything to say. Oh, Guess they're closed. Um, guess they're closed. Woe is me. Alright, let's go to wherever he was telling me to go. Yeah, I got stuff to do with all those places. Stottenberg, I'll say. Damn, this place is spooky. Oh boy, walk faster, Grace. It's like she's walking on ice. Her feet keep sliding back. <laughs> it's a memorial chapel. It's a memorial. Where is this fool? It's a spooky place to ask to be. I feel a little uncomfortable, to be honest. This is where he died. Oh, jeez. You must be Grace. <laughs> Herr Dahlmeier. Hello. Josef. I didn't mean to startle you. Sorry, I but I am a werewolf. I startle people easily. I feel him here the most, you know. More than at the castle. So, what did you want to know? Everything. Jeez, that's a lot of shit I gotta ask him. Professor Barclay says your hobby is Ludwig. Yes. He was the last real king that Bavaria had. My hobby is a dead Does a Bavarian and a history buff? Well, that's enough to hook me right there. But there's more, right? He was a romantic, you know. A dreamer. And he was misunderstood, maligned. And... Sounds like you can relate. Me? Hell, I have it easy. At least I live in the 1990s. And not every eye in the country is on me. But, yes, I can relate. You know about Ludwig's diary, right? Of course. How can I get my hands on it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I have been trying myself for five years. They keep it locked up tight in the Royal Archives and they don't let it out. They must think it contains things that will hurt his image. They won't let anyone see it? Not ever? Only one person outside of the government oh, ever got crazy. to see it, a biographer, Sir Richmond Chapel. He had friends among the German royals and they let him look at it. Did you ever try to contact Chapel, pick his brain? No. I don't believe I never thought of that. 
Yeah, that's If you do like it, you find out anything, you must share. It's a promise. <laughs> Tell me about Ludwig. I don't know where to start. There's so much. Politically, the most significant thing about Ludwig II was that he signed over independent Bavarian statehood to Prussia in 1870. Bavaria became a part of United Germany, and Ludwig became a figurehead prince under the Prussian Kaiser. Why do you think he did that? Bavaria had been involved in the Hundred Years' War. People were tired of fighting. Prussia's push to unite the German states made some amount of sense. Still, Ludwig must have had other options. At the very least, he should have negotiated better terms. So what was the real reason? He was manipulated by Bismarck. At least that's what I think anyway. What about Ludwig personally? You'll find two perspectives on Ludwig. The view the tourists get is the romantic ideal, Ludwig the tormented loner. Then there is the historian's point of view. Ludwig was plagued with guilt over his sexual orientation and was driven mad with self-loathing. But I take it you're not buying either point of view. <laughs> well, it's all too convenient, isn't it? That he was a devout Catholic, there is no question, and I'm sure there were pressures on him to be normal. Yeah, but he was no dudes. prude. He loved Byron. Mm. Yes. Philosophy, the French court. If anything, Ludwig was too much an egomaniac. He didn't give a damn what anyone thought. And besides, he didn't try to hide any of his relationships. If he suffered from anything in his romantic life, it was disillusionment. No one loved him back as purely as he himself loved. Well, if it wasn't sexual guilt that tormented him, what was it? I don't know. His diary was filled with self-guilt, but I'm sure it's not about that. If I knew, I'd write my own book, set the record straight, so to speak. Have you read anything about Ludwig's midnight sleigh rides? Would that have been something? To be out at night and suddenly see him sweep by with his entourage? <laughs> they say the night agitated Ludwig, and that being outdoors and the rushing feeling of the sleigh calmed him down. Sometimes even the sleigh wasn't enough. He would stop in some remote woods, order his servants to stay put, and go wandering off by himself for hours. He drove the servants crazy. Tell me about Bismarck. Oh, Bismarck. He was the Prussian Kaiser's Chancellor. Not a nice man. Bismarck had a reputation for learning people's weaknesses and five. manipulating them. It's a matter of record that he had spies on Ludwig's staff. He may even have had a henchman even closer to the king. And he was involved in the conspiracy to declare Ludwig insane. Did you find out anything about the Black Wolf? I did. I'd read about him before, but I hadn't realized that was who you were talking about. His name was Godin. Paul Godin. I found a reference to his being called the Black Wolf after you telephoned. I've never heard of him. Who was he? Godin lived on the fringes of the Prussian court. He was handsome, charming, dangerous, or so they say. He was variously rumored to have been a foreign prince, a Prussian spy, even an assassin. Since you were interested in him, I found out some things that are probably true. It said he came from abroad in the mid-1800s, but claimed high German blood. Do you know where he came from? Uh, no. And he was ruthlessly ambitious. Mm. He probably found out who held the power, Bismarck, and offered his services. Bismarck was a good judge of talent, of that sort, anyway. Of that sort? What does that mean? What else do you know about Godin? He must have done something remarkable. Bismarck was not a generous man. He liked to string people along with promises, but rarely came through. He did for Godin, though. He gave him a royal title and lands in 1863. And that was the last reference I found to him. Well, how could he just disappear? It's not that unusual. Back then, when you were given a title, you usually changed your name and moved to a place where no one knew your past. 
so you could act with impunity or be a pompous ass and get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any way to find out what Godin was called after he got his title? Is it that critical? It might be. Well, you could send away for a copy of the entitlement deed, assuming it has been destroyed during one of the wars. Godin's new name would be on it. But you would need a research permit from the government to access those records, and they can be very hard to get. A lot of red tape. Great. <laughs> what do you know about Ludwig's hunting accident? A couple of years ago, I was introduced to this great old man, a real old world farmer. Well, his grandfather was Richard Horning, Ludwig's equestrian. Oh, he told some great Ludwig stories. Sometimes I get lucky. <laughs> anyway, he said that after the hunting accident, Ludwig got terribly ill, that he had a fever and was acting crazy. They were afraid that the wolf had been carrying a disease or that the bite had gone septic. A wolf bit him? Yes, yeah, it's not so unusual. There were a lot of wolves in the Alps back then. The servants were really worried, but Ludwig recovered, physically anyway. And became a werewolf. Horning's grandfather said it was the fever that broke Ludwig's mind, that he was worse than ever after that. What do you mean Ludwig got worse after the accident? Ludwig always had been a very private person. But after the accident, he got darker, more crazy. Towards the end, he was even forcing his servants to enter his chambers bent over so they couldn't see his face. <laughs> Horning's grandfather said his temper was fearsome. He would fly into a rage at the least mistake. I must have been terrified of Yes, him. well. Horning's grandfather felt sorry for Ludwig, and Ludwig hated his own violence. He was always giving gifts to his servants to apologize. You mentioned that there were other reasons why Ludwig's servants feared him. Ah, that's another of Horning's mysteries. There's a story about Neuschwanstein. Apparently there was a period of time of two or three months when Wagner would come and visit him. Wagner? There. Yeah. The two would lock themselves in the singer's hall. Horning's grandfather said the sounds that came from there were awful. Well, the servants had superstitious minds anyway. Some of them quit over it, just walked away. What kind of sounds? Horning's grandfather called them heartbreaking and ungodly. Maybe it was Wagner trying to sing. <laughs> sure, that's what it was. Well, I guess that's all for now. Thanks for your help. It's my pleasure. And if you ever want to talk again, mm -hmm. just give me a call. I'll meet you down. I will. Thanks. Servus. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> this is where they found Ludwig's body. This is where they. F I wonder what it felt like under there. Probably cold. I'd imagine. Is that it? Click on everything. Grace Nakamura. Well, that's me, Gabriel Lyon. Walk, 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 walk. Anything else here? It's a memorial chapel for Ludwig. still more there. Fuck this. Hi, Gerda. I'm back. Good. Good. You want to talk? Yeah, you do. Gerda? Yes? Gerda, do you have any idea where I could get a government research permit? I don't have time for a lot of red tape. 
You should ask Herr Übergrau. He can maybe get such things very fast. You think? I was going to write Gabriel today anyway. I don't have anything to ask you, Dirk. I don't have any. Guess I'll go write a letter to Gabe. I should get a letter off to Gabriel. I need to include a note to Ubergrau about the research permit. Hi, I have a book of yours on Ludwig II. The author's name is Sir Richmond Chapel. Yes, how can I help you? Well, I'm doing some research on Ludwig, and I was hoping you could get me in contact with the author. I'm afraid Sir Richmond Chapel is deceased. Oh, well, that sucks. <laughs> However, his son is living. Oh, well, is there any way you can put me in touch with him? And who are you doing this research for? Well, I'm working with Professor Barclay from Yale University. Mm. All right. You? Thomas Chapel's number in England is 4120-555-771. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Goodbye. Bye. paper ever. <laughs> Chapel Residence. Hi, uh, my name is Grace Nakamura. I'm calling from Rittersburg, Germany. Is Thomas Chapel there, please? Speaking. What may I do for you, Miss Nakamura? This is going to sound crazy, but I have a copy of your father's biography on Ludwig II. I understand he had access to Ludwig's diary. Yes. Well, oh God, I'm not even sure. He didn't make a copy of it or anything, did he? Or perhaps he took good notes? He wrote down a complete translation in English. He said he couldn't uh, make headway with the German version. Look, his handwriting was rather broke, you know. He wrote down an English translation. Do you still have it? Well, unfortunately, my father was allowed to see the diary only on the grounds that uh, he wouldn't publish the entire work. I can't let you see it. Have you tried contacting the National Archive? No, I don't have the kinds of connections your father did, or the time. That's unfortunate, but I really cannot let it out of my hands. I understand. It was just a shot in the dark. Very well. The best of luck to you. <laughs> Thank Very you, well. Mr. Chapel. That was a complete waste of time. I don't know who else to... Let's go mail that letter. I don't have any...
Grüß Gott, Frau Lukingua. Grüß Gott, haben Sie etwas für mich? Nein, leider nicht. Brauchen Sie noch etwas? Kann ich diesen Brief versenden? Ja, dreimal bitte. Just run, don't pay. Looking over his shoulder like someone's gonna speak up on her. Dankeschön. Bitte sehr. Brauchen Sie noch etwas? Uh, bye. Danke. Bitte. Gibt's das denn die Lilienblähen schon? Sehr schön. Ja, aber es ist doch noch so kalt. Für Sie ein Geschenk von der Madonna. Oh nein. No. Nehmen Sie sie ruhig. Heute Nacht wird es kalt und sie wird sowieso erfrieren. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Couldn't understand everything he was saying. He said it was a gift from the Madonna. And something about it being cold. Which I don't understand, but... I don't know why I need to do this, but... That's what it, the interwebs tell me to do, so... Oh boy, walk faster, Grace. Jesus. Looks like you clearly could have driven closer, but no. Appreciate it. <gasps> There's a creepy guy standing behind you. Come on. There you go. I don't have anything to ask Gerda right now. You should. It says go to Schloss Ritter and get info from Gerda.
Grüß Gott, Frau Mökimor. Grüß Gott, haben Sie etwas für mich? Nein. Da. Clearly I missed something. Fuck. This is so annoying. I bet you it's got something to do with the fucking other castle. I clicked on everything in this stupid fucking place. Wish it would just tell me what I need to click on. In the corner is a brown tiled stove with clay figures of Tristan and Isolde. Scenes from the op I don't think the guards Was that it? Did I miss that last time? Nope, that wasn't fucking it. Alright guys, I'm gonna find this and then I'll I'll see it once I find it. Because this shit's annoying! Hey guys, so I was just desperately looking through my inventory and I noticed I have this Facts of Ludwig's Diary translation in here, which I have no idea where it came from. All of a sudden I've just got it. Um, maybe that first time I accidentally skipped the post thing, I got this somehow and just didn't listen to it, the, the post lady telling me, but I've got it now, so let's read it. Nakamura, it seems I've had a change of heart. Please keep the, these in the strictest confidence. Good luck on your endeavor. 11th June 1872. Louis has convinced me to think matters through more thoroughly before I act. A trip it shall be then, to Shahen. It shall not alter my purpose, I feel, nor shall his compelling. The treaty is the ruin of my beloved Bavaria and must be taken to task. 3rd July, 1872. The pain gets so bad, I cannot hold a pen to write, but the horror is far worse than the pain. He says it was an accident, says that we can truly be one now, that it is a great adventure. I believe him one minute and the next I can feel the flames of hell upon my heels. May God have mercy on my soul. Ah, uh, somebody turned him into a werewolf, like Wagner. 5th January, 1874. By the power of Mary, Mother of God, I swear to refrain from the ultimate sin and to remain steadfast in my flesh, sworn by the power of the lily, Eleanor. Ludwig and R. Wasn't that like Richard Wagner or something? Man, there's a lot of pages in this. 30th August, 1879. I will not falter, but will remain true. No matter the torment or longing, I will not yield. I will control the process. God grant me strength and will. By the grace and power of the monarchy and its allegiance. De Paul Leroy, Eleanor. 10th September, 1880. It is all finished. Elizabeth warned me and I discovered the truth at last. O oh, most venomous viper at my very bosom, O oh, lowest of the least worthy who ever breathed, my Judas, my devil, if I could tear my heart out and fling it after him in the dirt, I would, I would. Jeez. 12th December, 1880. He continues to come, the devil. I will never look upon his hideous face again. He is afraid I will tell, and I might, I might. To destroy him, I might. When I think of the accident, now that things are clear, I wonder... Was it truly an accident, or was it the plot to kill me? If so, why did he not complete it then, instead of putting me in this torment? Could he have hated me so? 
I wish to God he had simply ended it there. 10th June, 1881. Terror. Rapture. During W's music tonight, I felt a pulling. The horror nearly came upon me right there. Then the music turned, and it was gone. What can it mean? I must confide in the great friend. Perhaps he will know what has happened. 2nd August 1882. The experiments go better and better. W has proved as loyal and determined as ever I believed he would be in a matter of my salvation. He says he has the formula now. It remains only to put the finishing touches on the completed opera and to draw up the diagram for the crystals. Can it truly end? I scarce dare to hope. April 1883. The great friend is dead. How unjust that he should be taken from me now. Where is my chance at salvation? Why has God condemned me twice? 10th October 1885. There must be made clear funds for the crystals. Lies. Everyone lies. My own servants. What must I do? Must I sell one of my beloved castles? The crystals must be made. I grow daily less able to control my own will. How long will I be able to resist the ultimate sin? And the music is worthless without the device. Time is running out. The crystals must be made. Damn. Shit got intense. All right, let's bounce. Go give the diary to that dude. Squeal. Have you heard of Ludwig's diary? Yes, but uh, no one is allowed to see it. It just so happens that I have a copy of an English translation right here. There's something I wanted to show you. Read this one. August, Achtenstein, Achsik. The experiments go better and better. They has proved as loyal and determined as ever. It remains only to put the finishing touches on the completed opera. To make up the diagram for the crystal. Oh my God. Wait. I want to show so you. So much for keeping that translation in the strictest of confidence. I am not supposed to have looked at this myself, but uh, <laughs> I am here alone all day, so. <laughs> Why didn't you just do this before? Damn it. July 1881. Richard returned from his meeting with the king. Never have I seen him so pale. I was concerned for his heart. He would not speak with me, but immediately shut himself up in his study and started working on a new project. He will not tell me the first thing about it. He will only say that it was time he repaid his king. It confirms Ludwig's diary. He wasn't crazy. Yes, but Ludwig says that the opera was completed. Imagines are completed. There's something else. August 1882. We had a messenger tonight from the king. He brought a letter which Richard burnt. I did manage to see a bit of it. It said something about a great night in Munich and that it would be Richard's supreme triumph and someone else's destruction. Ludwig then wrote that even though he himself would probably die, his what? immortal soul would be free thanks to Richard. I worry for poor Ludwig and for us. Where will we be if his madness continues? Surely someone will put an end to it. Wow. There's one more. May 1883. I sent Richard's sealed package to the king as he instructed moments before he closed his eyes forever. I could not even bring myself to care what was in it. What could it matter now? 
Whatever it is, I hope it brings the king good memories of Richard. Diary. He did so much for my beloved. The package. package. <laughs> All right, finished it. Finally. All right, let's watch his opening scene to chapter five. Whose bed is that? I thought he was sleeping on that little chair. Or did he bone somebody? <laughs> <laughs> she sounds delightful. I'd love to meet her. Oh, she's a hoot, all right. Just pretend you don't have a penis around and you'll be fine. <laughs> Get this inborn need to rip them off. Now I'm really intrigued. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> this one time, <laughs> I'd gone off to this, uh, well, party, you might say. <laughs> and it was getting a bit hairy. Well, Gracie. Oh. What the hell is that? <laughs> Better. Come here, Tom, man. Just yes, huge feet. Data does not speak English, but then she has her own methods of communication. <laughs> I should leave you two kids alone. Oh, don't be silly. I want you to watch. <laughs> You're gonna get her to fuck Gabe, aren't you? I can't just, I can't just take your date. Why not? I didn't expect her tonight. <laughs> and for some reason I don't find myself in that mood. Besides, from what you've told me, you lived like a monk down south at that castle. <laughs> your body needs some attention. Data. Take him to the bedroom. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God.
cutting his hair. <laughs> Business is to attend to. I will see you something something. I didn't read that fast enough. <laughs> All right. Well, we will continue this later. place where I can save because I can't save on the map. Alright. Sexy time. Alright everybody, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, stick around when we will uh, continue our search for the werewolves. Uh, thanks for watching. See ya.